Hello, I'm Joe Spiner and welcome to the Joe Spiner Show, where truth is our mission, reality our realm, said as we see it and frankly as well, big is bad. Dinosaurs were big, they were bad, and thankfully they are no more. Here's the problem with big, as in big government, whose era was pronounced over with great fanfare by President Bill Clinton. Bigness consumes everything until there's nothing left but it. Monopoly is the end game of big. And monopoly, my friends, is corrosive to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. With big government, you can kiss diversity goodbye. Interestingly and paradoxically, those who espouse bigness as in big government, AKA the progressives, tout the virtue of big government as a champion of diversity, when in actuality, if you follow the science, big government is inherently monolithic, which if your synapses are clicking, tells you that diversity is the polar opposite of monolithic. How that simple self-evident fact escapes the mindset is in itself the ninth wonder of the world. Let me give you an example of how insidious bigness and monopoly can be, a la Google, Amazon, Facebook, yeah, Facebook, Facebook, Twitter, how antithetical they are to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Go to any Walmart, Target, CVS, or Walgreens, and notice that the shelves are laden with all kinds of shampoos and conditions at various prices and shades, flavors, and textures. That's diversity. That's choice. That's competition. That's capitalism. You, the consumer, get a quality product at a reasonable price. And if that shampoo and or conditioner is lacking in quality and is not priced right, that particular company goes out of business as it should. That is the essence of capitalism. Let's take a peek at what AOC and Bernie Sanders have to say, what their worldview is. Instead of rows and rows of shampoos and conditioners, there's but one of each. <laughs> and that one is only a government brand, a monopoly. The quality can be questionable, the price, who knows? Everything's subject to government whim. Take it or leave it. Peggy Allen once sang in song, is that all there is? For progressive socialists, Marxists, and ultimately communists who believe in the utopian dream of a classless society, in fact, that's all there is. So we might as well Keep dancing, break out the booze, and have a ball.